Hello folks, welcome to this Connected Falkirk video all about setting up Apple Classroom for the first time. So the first thing we need to do is find the Apple Classroom icon, which is this orange one with the little white chalkboard on it. And when I give it a little tap, you'll see helpfully it is going to prompt me with a little blue box to create my first class. If I give that a little tap, it's going to take me in to the class creation menu. And the first thing it's going to ask for, as you might expect, is the name of the class. Now, while I'm typing this in, it's worth noting that you can do this in advance. The young people that you teach do not have to physically be in front of you for you to set this up, which is quite handy if you are teaching multiple classes, if you're a secondary teacher for example you can get all of this sorted in advance once we've got the name we go into the location menu and you'll see I only have one location which is connected Falkirk Central you will have your base establishment location which allows you access to all the pupils who are registered within that establishment so once I've selected it by tapping it we're going to go back into this creation menu and it's just a case of choosing whichever icon is the closest fit and then picking a colour just to distinguish between perhaps the different classes that you do have if you're teaching multiple. In the top right hand corner when I'm done I'm going to tap and you'll see there I now have my first Apple Classroom class. If I tap on it it is very helpfully going to prompt me to add students again with the blue ribbon. If I give that a tap, you will see that it's automatically here populated with all the young people in the establishment. So for me, it's just two just now, so that's really helpful. But if I did need to search through hundreds of kids, I can just type in the names and you'll see it automatically um, filters them out. So if I tap on Joe here, or Jane, sorry, and then Joe, and then in the top right hand corner, I'm going to tap on add and that is going to take both of those kids into the class. And it just takes a little second. And there we go. We've got Jane and we've got Joe in the class. Now you'll see that they are currently both showing as offline and that's because I've done this remotely so I've done this not in the same physical location as the young people. Apple Classroom does work on proximity. So what will happen is when Joe and Jane arrive in my room and I start the class, their statuses will change from online to something else. And you'll see this in just a little second. We should have Jane coming online and authorising. And then Joe, unfortunately, is still offline. Now something that is worth noting here is that if you have a young person who is showing us offline, there's a couple of things that you might need to do to help them to get online in your classroom. So the first thing that you would need to do is check that they are definitely 100% logged in to their connected Falkirk Apple ID on their connected Falkirk device. And you would do that by going into settings and then on the top left hand corner of the settings pane, it will have their Apple ID information and it's very easy to check to see if they've logged in on perhaps a different Apple ID um, and they're not on their connected Falkirk one. They must be on their managed Apple ID in order for this to work, okay? Um, the next thing that you perhaps need to do if they are already on their managed ID but they're still not showing is give the little uh, Bluetooth a uh, switch off and a switch on again. That can sometimes help. And finally, if that still doesn't work, just get them to switch the device off completely and switch it on again. It's the old uh, on-off trick. And what that should do, those three steps should allow you to then see that pupil online. Um, so it's definitely an, an easy setup. It might take a couple of um, minutes if you've got more than one class um, and searching through all the different names. But generally speaking, very, very easy to set up. And as you can see from the right hand side of your current screen, um, the pupils don't have to do anything. So there's no steps at all for the pupils to take. It is just you as the teacher setting up the classroom for them.